An operational amplifier or op-amp is shown with this schematic. It has two different pins of non-inverting and inverting and an output. In addition to these pins, it has to supply voltages of positive VCC and negative VCC. Since the output voltage of an op-amp could not be higher than positive VCC and lower than negative VCC, the supply voltages are called rates. Most of the op-amps are designed as negative VCC could be equal to ground, since creating negative supply is difficult. In order to explain the rail-to-rail -rail property of an op-amp, let's see an example. Suppose to connect a feedback of output to inverting input of an op-amp and put a voltage on the non-inverting input of that op-amp. The relationship of output voltage with input voltage would be as output is equal to input. Does it mean any voltage which exists on input appears on output? No, it is not true. Suppose to have positive VCC equal to 5 volt and negative VCC becomes ground and have a sinusoidal voltage waveform on input with 5 volt amplitude. I mentioned that output voltage could be only between these two rails, but it could not be equal to these rails exactly. Actually, it has a delta voltage offset of this rail. If this offset had a very small value near zero, such op-amp is called rail-to-rail op-amp. Therefore, here, output voltage variation could be in the range shown by green marker and the negative part does not appear in output and output waveform would be as shown by blue marker. I hope you do like this video, please subscribe me for more.